जी कैसे हैं आप सब सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फार्माकोलॉजी सेकंड टॉपिक दैट इज ऑन फार्माकोकाइनेटिक्स राइट फार्माकोकाइनेटिक्स इन फार्माकोकाइनेटिक्स बेसिकली यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन ए डी एम एंड ई A D M E, A D M E means A means administration of the drug, administration of drug. D means distribution of the drug. M means metabolization of the drug. and e means elimination of the drug right so today i will try to cover first two things that is your administration of the drug and distribution of the drug right so if we will talk about <clears throat> the definition of pharmacokinetics the definition will be what body does with drug right what body does with the drug that will be <coughs> pharmacokinetics and in pharmacokinetics we have to study ADME and that is your administration distribution metabolization and elimination of the drug so first if I will talk about administration of the drug so administration means administration of the drug means transfer of the drug transfer of drug from its site <coughs> from its site of administration from its site of administration into into blood stream right so administration you can define as administration of the drug means transfer of drug from its site of administration into the blood stream so if we are talking about site of administration then basically we have two types of site of administration <coughs> We have two types of site of administration. First one is enteral. And second is parenteral. Right? In enteral route of drug administration, for example, we have we have number one sublingual we have oral right we have rectal if we are talking about second one mean to say except GIT the root except GIT like subcutaneous Subcutaneous number second IV IM intradermal all the types of injections all the types of injections then we have topical and then we have transdermal right so these are the root of drug administration <coughs> so next we have some factors which are affecting on the uh, 
administration of the drug as we told you what is administration transfer of the drug from its site of administration into the bloodstream better it is like this site of administration <clears throat> so we have some factors which are affecting on we have some factors which are affecting on absorption so that are known as first are known as physiochemical nature of drug <coughs> physiochemical nature of drugs right physiochemical nature of drug means number one molecular weight number second we have <coughs> we have chemical nature and third one we have degree of ionization right so we will, we will discuss these things one by one so first thing we have that molecular weight if the molecular weight will be high then the absorption of the drug will be low right mean to say these are inversely proportional chemical nature either the drug is organic or inorganic uh, organic or inorganic if the drug is organic then its absorption will be high if it will be inorganic its absorption will be low and third is degree of ionization remember one thing that drug will absorb more frequently if it will be in unionized form right <clears throat> these are the physical physiochemical nature of the drug these are three factors molecular weight chemical nature and degree of ionization second we have that patient's factor patient's factor in patient's factor <clears throat> number 1 we have surface area surface area for absorption number second gastric ph number third we have bile salt so if we will discuss about these three factors <clears throat> so if the surface area will be high then the absorption will be high gastric ph and bile salt these two things are almost same if the gastric ph will be high right little bit high mean to say there will be more absorption if bile salts are more mean to say there will be more absorption because these two things help for fats these things these things due to this ph these things will be metabolize easily and there will be more absorption of the drug so we are the these total six factors one first one according to physiochemical nature we have molecular weight we have chemical nature and we have degree of ionization if we talking about patient factor in patient factors we have surface area we have gastric or duodenal ph and we have bile salt right next important thing we have what is bio availability what is bio availability bio availability means amount of drug amount of drug present in blood 
after its administration for example you are giving 100 mg of drug orally right for example you are giving it after meal it is just an example it is after you are giving after meal so in stomach there will be food due to food there will be chances for the wastage there will be chances for the wastage of drug for example out of 100 milligram 80 milligram drug will enter into the blood so you have to find out the percentage and that will be 80 percent it i am telling you this is just an example to clear the concept that the amount of drug present in the blood after its administration that will be bioavailability of the drug <coughs> so one more important thing that you must have to know if we draw a graph here between time and plasma concentration on y-axis we have plasma concentration and x-axis we have time so this one we have time and this one we have drug concentration in blood right so for example at zero time you are taking a drug right it will enter into the body show its effect and will start excreting through the body right then we'll start excreting to the body the maximum amount that will reach the plasma concentration that will be known as c max c max total concentration maximum concentration of the drug and this one is total time when the drug will reach its c max that is known as t max maximum time when the maximum drug will achieve its peak plasma concentration level why i am using the word peak plasma because the mostly drugs will combine with albumin proteins right for its trans, uh, trans, uh, what, uh, transportation so this is the concept of c max and t max right then we have half life so half life i will discuss in excretion or elimination when we will study elimination of the drug at that time i will discuss half life also so here you, we have one more concept that is known as plasma concentration of drug plasma concentration of drugs and second we have peak plasma concentration of drugs plasma concentration of drug means the amount of drug that combine with plasma protein amount of drug combine with plasma protein plasma protein as I told you that mostly drugs combine with albumin protein and peak plasma means maximum amount of drug that combine with plasma protein right so this is a com uh, this is the concept of plasma concentration sorry yes plasma concentration of the drugs and peak plasma concentration of the drug when the drug will achieve the peak plasma concentration of the drug that is also known as c max at this time the drug will show its full effect okay so this is a little bit concept about uh, absorption next i am moving towards the 
where is my paper here i am moving towards the distribution of the drugs right next we have distribution of the drugs we have distribution of the drug number second distribution of the drugs so distribution sim in simple words you can say in distribution the drug will leave the bloodstream and will enter into the ECF right the drug will leave drug will leave bloodstream and will enter into the ECF mean to say extracellular fluid right so here we have also uh, some factors which are affecting on the distribution factors number one blood flow number second capillary permeability capillary permeability and number third we have tissue affinity tissue affinity right so as I told you that uh, for example you can see here for example these are the blood capillaries I am showing you like this ok here we have inside we have blood we have blood and among blood what we have we have drug particles we have drug molecules you can say right so blood flow mean to say here I told you that drug will leave the bloodstream mean to say here the drug have to leave the bloodstream and enter into the ECF extra cellular fluid which is here you can say this one is ECF right so here we have three factors first one is uh, blood flow if the blood flow will be high mean to say more drug molecule and here I am talking about blood flow not blood pressure if the blood pressure then there will be less distribution if there will be blood flow will be high mean to say more blood will come near the ECF and there will be more distribution of the drug capillary permeability simple phenomena if there will be more spaces then the more drug molecules will come outside right if there will be more spaces mean to say there will be more drug molecules will come outside so if capillary permeability will be high mean to say there will be more um, distribution of the drug last we have this uh, tissue affinity tissue affinity means surrounding of this there will be tissues right there will be tissues for example like this now tissue affinity means how much attraction between the how much attraction between the drug molecule and the tissue so if the tissue affinity or you can say if the uh, this attraction will be high mean to say if tissue affinity will be high then the uh, distribution will be high right so this is the first part of pharmacokinetics just a little bit i give you little bit concept here so you can just go through with pharmacokinetics next over will be on pharmaco sorry uh, metabolization of the drug and elimination of the drug thank you so much so nice of you goodbye